Beetle. All right, so this is gonna be my suggestion. I think that, okay, maybe we can do every meal. She is, hold on, fed, excuse my messy car, fed in her crate, in the car, or even just in the car, like wherever she'll eat, right? So if it's just sitting in the car, in her lap, it's gonna be a pain in the tuckus because it's time consuming. Um, but the first day I did this, she wouldn't take treats for me in her kennel, and now she is. So maybe we're stepping in the right direction. Um, this is probably a good, a good, homework for the weekend right so like you have a little bit of i think hopefully flexibility beetle good um where you can kind of hang out and doesn't have to be the crack acid on out there in, in the cold car feeding your dog um but just let her kind of hang out you don't actually have to go anywhere you don't even have to turn the car on unless you just want to be warm and just let her have some food um it could be that she literally just gets car sick and now she has a bad association in that case beetle good um, I'm not a huge fan of recommending medication, but it might be a conversation to have with your vet. They might be able to give you some car sickness meds, which can kind of combat the literal feeling that she has when the car is moving. Um, my personal dog, Katana, the Malinois, she also hates being in the car. She doesn't drool or anything, but she definitely like pants much harder than she needs to. Um, and I think that's just because when she was little like this, um, it was before I had these cool kennels in the back of my car, so she would just be slip sliding around in the in the trunk, not the trunk, but the SUV trunk, um, the cargo area. And so now she's just like, I don't like cars. Um, so I got her like this crate, it's closed off. This one is a cool little guy that has double doors. And she has, let me go back over here. Yeah. She has these um, rubber mat where it kind of reduces the slipping from my evasive driving. Whereas my shepherd, she just goes in here and she doesn't care about slip line everywhere because she's a thug. Um, so just a suggestion. Right, girl? Yeah. But super short sessions. I'm just giving her little hot dog pieces right now and she's comfortable. Um, I'm not going to push it too much. Good girl. So before, if I, as soon as I opened the door, she was like scrambling to get out. Good. So I'm just kind of trans transferring what we worked on in the kennel in the training room back over to here to kind of paint that exact same picture. Good job. All right.